Probably nothing at this stage. Uh, I mean, that's more investor relations. At some point, uh, the mining companies will take note of that and probably change the way that uh, they uh, manage their production process um, as associated to the share price, which is eventually we, we get to in that respect. But a lot needs to happen in terms of data and analytics before you can actually get there. Um, uh, and mining is a, is a fairly slow process to change that. Well, I think what this does is it brings a level of uh, digitalization to the, to the process that wasn't available before. So effectively, you don't need to go out to the field anymore to have a look at uh, what, the, um, uh, what is happening in the mine. You can, you can do that safely from the office. Uh, and it'll get to the point where the data that you get from that is actually better than if you actually drove out there and was physically there. So it speeds up the, the production process in terms of that decision-making process. Uh, not only that, it makes the entire mine site a lot safer because you're removing people from the most dangerous area of the mine. So I think if, if you look at other industries and what happen, is happening in other industries, uh, mining has led the way to a large extent in terms of automated equipment. Uh, but now the automotive sector is jumping on board with the likes of Google and, and Uber making autonomous cars. So that's going to drive the cost down for uh, uh, autonomous machinery, but not only that, it's going to uh, ramp up the complexity uh, with what you can actually do with, that piece of, with those pieces of equipment. So I think what you're going to see in the uh, medium term is the autonomous equipment is going to become a lot smarter, it's going to have a higher level of interruptibility, um, and it's going to become a lot cheaper, and therefore adoption rates are going to go up. So that, that presentation was to show you that uh, although we started off uh, 10 years ago with the concept of what we actually wanted to do and we were looking at autonomous equipment and ro robotics, we ended up creating a software company at the end of it that achieved those results, but it was very, very different to what we started off with. So sometimes you need to pivot at the right time. It's like running any business um, that when you, uh, the technology you started off with doesn't actually achieve what you want, but it gives birth to another piece of technology, then you should pursue that to the end. And you've got to have the tenacity to hang on for that period to, to achieve the end result. So iMark, uh, I've attended every iMark conference since it started. It's, it's been a, um, a good process uh, for myself and Goldfields when I was with Goldfields um, uh, to showcase what we were doing in that space. And that's important to gauge uh, what what the rest of the industry thinks about what you're actually doing to make sure that you are on the right track. Um, and so the good responses we had in, in iMark indicated that we were on the right track and we should continue doing, uh, doing this project. And look, it's a, it's a good way to, to network. Uh, there's a lot of people that, uh, although you know them and you can go and catch up with them, it's easier to catch up with them all within a few days than try and travel around the countryside.